it was intentional, but INEC lawyers today in court admitted that a candidate must score 25% in the FCT to be declared winner. This was how it happened. Let me break it down. It was during the cross-examination of witnesses. And then the INEC lawyer was cross-examining one of the PDP witnesses. And then the INEC lawyer asked the witness. He said, do you realize that Atiku didn't score 25% in the FCT? Then the PDP witness said, yes. INEC lawyer then said, since he didn't get 25% in the FCT, do you know that he can't be declared president? Then the PDP witness replied. He said, even Tinubu didn't score 25% in the FCT and you made him president. And it was a very serious moment that got the whole court laughing. It was really serious, but the whole court burst out laughing because the irony, you know, the hypocrisy of it all. Then at this point, the INEC lawyer became confused. Then he said, eh, that's not my question. Atiku scored 15% in the FCT. Why did you write in your testimony that he should be declared president? This is INEC lawyer asking the PDP witness now. Then the PDP witness replied. He said, because even Tinubu did not get 25% in the FCT, if they can declare him, then they can also declare Atiku president. And the court went hysterical again. And it just pains me that this was not televised. Why didn't these people televise this thing? Nigerians deserve to see all this in court. And I think they really refused to televise this just to avoid the pressure that would have been on the judiciary from the public. Because imagine if this was televised and the whole Nigeria was watching. Ordinarily, this admission from INEC should nullify the elections because these are INEC lawyers now talking about this 25% being sacrosanct with their own mouth.